You follow me, buddy. Yes, maybe you should go on ahead for a bit. Just don't forget about me. Alright, so this is familiar territory. Yes, we'll have a better chance if we stick together. They should have like reintroduced this guy in the half like two. Because he actually has meaning because he's in this one. Instead they introduced this some guy we never met. Don't leave. So two. I'm afraid I need to rest. Yeah, Bonnie's in it. You need to rest? It's like the guy that you Are you fucking with me? This guy's clairvoyant. I need to rest, there are fuckers around the corner. But I'm not gonna tell you that. Just tell me I'm tired. I want like a pussy. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Shotgun in the face and he didn't give a shit. That was incredible. Sometimes, like, I don't know. Like, almost like they are mortal. Was originally from like 1999. So what? They knew how to make games back then. Yeah, I know, but they they had to take processor considerations about AI and all that. So. The AI is pretty good, actually, considering <laughs> sometimes more retarded uh, in modern games. Probably here. <laughs> Yeah, how was I was guess. Good, I see you've already found the elevator. Let's hurry then. We should have chosen the Lambda reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures, with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. <laughs> Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. You know what I did wonder though, because like in Blue Shift, it's Gordon Freeman is depicted as having no glasses at all. Is he? Yeah. In what? If, now in the start of Blue Shift you see him walking around and you see him in the train going by. But he doesn't wear glasses. Maybe he only sticks them on for like... When he's reading. Alright, let's stick together. Something. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. I like this actually on older versions of third A uh, stations and HEV chargers. Doctor Rosenberg, the old style. God, you made it. We've Rosenberg. managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now, there's no time to waste. All right, I'll follow you then, I guess. Looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. 
In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. Oh great. Guess and what? You're the only one who can do this. Seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you from the first where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. Great. All right. I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. I don't want to go. Ready, Mr. Calhoun? No, I'm not ready. Open, it will become unstable very quickly. I am a security officer. Can you hear me? It's ready. Where the hell did you come from? Huh? Oh dear. Okay, lots of sparky thingies, that's good. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Look, uh, about my employment here, I would like to uh, resign. Uh, so here's my badge, and you're not listening to me at all. Thank you. That's great. Almost there. I mean, next thing in the following task, you're gonna ask me to go undercover or something. As a police officer. Well, sort of. What? Uh, what the fuck? Focal point. And here come the dogs. The thing is with Half-Life, it has good music, but it stops every time I go into a loading zone. It's true. Every time. It's supposed to. Even with the second game, it still happens. Which is kind of the stupid thing about it. It's supposed to be loading. Hmm? Loading, man. Uh, no, but it, like it doesn't continue on after loading zone. Like even if it's only like just started, it will just like stop and like, yeah, fuck you. You haven't enough. You go on without this epic song. And game on in silence. Don't fucking knock my head off, you dick. And he did anyway. Sons of bitches. I wonder why Barney never actually mentioned going to the uh, Zen world. I also like it how like if you uh, slash an enemy, even headcraft, you can like pass it as like, like a freaking rock solid object before it like then it's death animation. See all these oh, that safe follow the headcraps I guess. Seems my best bet. Enemies usually means you're on the right trail. Always. How? Oh, 
he's facing the other way, that's my way it means I'm going backwards. Nothing else here. Other than the whole. Alright, so this is not the way to go anyway. You don't see this in modern games anymore, it's just like. In modern games, you can only go the correct way. Exactly. Wider audience than the old days. I do, but I don't think they credit people with the intelligence to them there. Well, every once in a while you have a good one, like uh, apparently Demon Souls will bust your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> 